Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right guys, so we have a cool article here. I'll drop the link for you in the description below. This is regarding the fight between T-Mobile and WCO Spectrum. Looks like things are heating up and they're getting very ugly. So uh, before I read the article, I just want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. If you could, I would really appreciate that. This way you're notified whenever I drop a new video. All right, guys, let's get into the article. So T-Mobile has filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court, Central District of California against WCO Spectrum. So this is alleging that WCO has engaged in a criminal scheme to defraud which has cost T-Mobile as much as $10 million. For more than two years, the parties have been locked in a battle over T-Mobile's leases of 2.5 gigahertz uh, spectrum. All right, so apparently T-Mobile inherited numerous 2.5 gigahertz spectrum leases when it purchased Sprint. So these leases are mostly held by educational institutions around the U.S., but WCO has been approaching these schools offering to purchase these leases and T-Mobile has fought hard to prevent any sale of these leases from happening. It's been very clear that T-Mobile does not want WCO as its Spectrum landlord for these leases. All right, the 2.5 gigahertz Spectrum is a vital part of T-Mobile's Spectrum layer cake for its nationwide 5G network, so they need this, you know. They can't afford to give it up. While it's been doing everything in its power to prevent WCO from purchasing any 2.5 gigahertz leases from schools, T-Mobile has also participated in the FCC's auction last summer of unowned 2.5 gigahertz spectrum. And T-Mobile was able to purchase and lock down most of the rest of the available 2.5 gigahertz spectrum in the U.S. Now it's going after WCO in regard to the spectrum that is owned by schools. T-Mobile's complaint says WCO and its co-conspirators have been making sham offers and exorbitantly high prices to purchase Spectrum lease, uh, licenses. WCO knows that T-Mobile has a right of first refusal to purchases the license, and it's banking on the fact that T-Mobile would purchase the licenses outright if necessary to avoid WCO from owning the license. T-Mobile claims WCO's offers to schools include a side deal whereby WCO would receive a kickback in the likely event that T-Mobile exercised its right a first refusal and acquired the licenses. So T-Mobile also alleges that WCO doesn't have the financial resources to even purchase the Spectrum at the amounts it's being offered. So WCO's proposed offers to EBS license holders when total amount to more than 1.6 billion and cover 167 Spectrum licenses, according to T-Mobile. Even if WCO intended to make a good on any of its offers, T-Mobile says, WCO lacks the capacity to make good on anything remotely approaching all of these offers. So there's a whole lot of stuff here. WCO didn't immediately respond to a request for comment for this story, and we'll probably have to wait for its official legal answer to T-Mobile's complaint. An unnamed, so uh, unnamed source familiar with the matter provided Fierce Wireless with a little context on what D WCO's legal response might be. He said that WCO will probably try to show that it does indeed have financing in place and it's prepared to buy the licenses at the prices that it has been offered. Nothing forces T-Mobile to buy these licenses. They have already been under the lease and they can waive their right for first refusal, said, said the source. So this is, this is getting hot. This is, there's a lot here. Um, this is going to be a crazy battle because T-Mobile needs that spectrum. They don't want to give it up and WCO wants it badly. So this is gonna be a duke. This is gonna be a, a brawl. We'll see how this plays out. All right, guys, any updates, I will notify you. I'll drop a video on it and I'll keep you in the loop. But that's it for now. We'll see where this goes. All right, guys, as always, I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.